Welcome to Wild of the World, and on the big world trip we arrived in Brazil. You saw us in Rio, traveling along the coast to Cabo Frio, and the island of Fernando de Noronha was very special. Now we moved on to the north side of Brazil, and this little village in the sand dunes is called Jericoquara. Brazil has been so awesome so far. This giant country has many different faces. From the south we traveled the east coast and visited Fernando de Noronha to continue our round trip in the north. The little town of Jericoquara is about 200 miles from the big city of Fortaleza and most people will take this entrance towards Jericoquara so we are also making a little stop here and exploring the city and as it so happens my friend from home lives here for about five years now so he's gonna show us around. My childhood friend Julio once went on a trip to Brazil and stayed in Fortaleza, especially for the endless boulevard on the beach where all life takes place. The road from Fortaleza to Jericoquara is quite long. First we take this bus for about 5 hours and then we uh, get transferred onto a 4 wheel drive in the dune landscape to head on to Jericoquara for about 1 hour. One advantage is when the sun goes down we stop for dinner. How great is our entrance on the back of this 4 wheel drive? And with the drone we see clearly how this lovely little town suddenly appears between all that sand. The streets of Jericoquara have a nice hippie slash surfer vibe. You can walk around endlessly and enjoy all the delicious food. In Brazil you will find that at the real hot spots it's always a little bit more expensive than in the rest of the country. And Jericoquara is no different. There's little to no local life and that's why the prices are just a little bit higher and sometimes you pay like hundreds of euros for a hotel. But we always managed to find a hidden gem and so did we this time. Uh, $65 per night with a swimming pool, which you really need because it's quite hot. Let's do some chilling. How cozy is this little apartment? But it's about time to go out and explore the area. The town of Jericoquara is inside the National Park of Jericoquara, which is this big area with sand dunes. And we can make two different tours, there's the east side and the west side. Today we're gonna make a little tour along the east side to see some incredible things and we go with one of those jeeps. So we're standing in line to take a picture with a tree. This must be the most popular tree in Jericoquara. It's called the sloth tree. And it's like a turned upside down tree, as you can see. The next stop is one of the most popular beaches in Jericoquara, Praia do Preá. Our next 
next stop is this sick blue swimming hole called Buraco Asu. And in the middle of nowhere, between the sand dunes, all of a sudden, you see this. Wow. The entrance fee to this swimming paradise is only a few bucks. And the food and drinks aren't too expensive either. The next stop is Paradise Lagoon, and this is about as close to paradise as you can get in Jiricacuara. Laguna Paraiso, and it's also where we're gonna have some lunch. Not bad, right? The Lagoa do Paraíso has a busy central beach, but a bit more remote there are many local spots. Over there it's much quieter, and best of all, cheaper. So... We make our final stop here on the dune tops and we see the entire area, the lagoons, it's just like a desert. This trip was seriously worth it. This area of Jiricoquara is spectacular. We saw so many beautiful things. But now, we're back at the Puzala, so it's time for a little swim. I'm gonna dive in, because it's pretty hot. You see, this is how I like it, our very own kitchen. Every now and then, we just need a healthy meal. Good morning, guys. I slept like a baby. The weather is perfect and it's time to make a tour along the west side of Jiricoquara, the other tour. Guys, this is pretty spectacular. We're at Manji Seco and we're gonna cross the river on this little boat and it has exactly place for one car. So we're gonna go with the car to the other side of the river. So this is something completely different. We're gonna move over to a boat and take a little ride on the Guriu River. And this is something else in the sand dunes because I stepped in the mud here and I was gone. <laughs> I'll show you. This is so special. On the boat trip we catch some seahorses. Fortunately, they're not on the menu for lunch. We study them quickly before we throw them back in the water. We make a little stroll to Mangi Seiko and it's quite a spectacular place because this is what I imagined the earth would look like after all nature has died. And then some people who survived created this little hippie village in the middle of nowhere. Our little Casanova is once again the biggest attraction here. With his blonde hair he even knows how to get what he wants. A few photos in exchange for some juice and chips. A businessman in the making. With the four-wheel drive we cross the dunes to a very inventive attraction full of adrenaline.
This is really so awesome to do. Pina colada! And then we do some chilling at Lagoa Grande, an oasis with nice bars and chill hangouts around the water. <laughs> Sorry guys, but that marks the end of this episode in Jericoquara. We're gonna hang out a little bit more in Jerry and then we're gonna move on in Brazil and we're even gonna visit the rainforest in the Amazon. And after that, of course, the rest of the world, because you know me, I'll see you there. On the way we stop at Lenzois Maranhenses, heaven on earth with a thousand blue lagoons. And then we travel deep into the Amazon. So subscribe and I'll see you soon.